So good morning everyone um, uh, and welcome to another video. I'm back at the spot where I, I caught that really nice catfish in my last video and ended up having to go to the ER. Be sure to check it out, hence the reason for the blue glove. Um, and uh, the fish are doing exactly what they did yesterday morning. Lots of uh, catfish activity here, so I'm going to throw a deep diving crankbait, try and see if I can catch some of these, uh, these catfish and then uh, I'll probably try and set up something to see if I can get a car. Keep on watching, and see what happens. Alright, let's have a go. Seems like they are still feeding quite actively. There we go. First cast again. Nice fish. Another nice catfish. Let's not get hooked in the fingers this time. It's a little bit body wrap now. Oh no. Oh no. And it broke my lure. Oh no. Oh. Well that's unfortunate. Let's try this uh new sort of popper type of thing that I've tried. Oh man, that sucks. That was a really nice lure. So unfortunately as that catfish came in, its body wrapped around the line and ended up breaking off. Uh, I really like that lure, so if anyone from Salmo is busy watching <laughs> and you feel like sending me some more lures, they're awesome lures. Um, they catch a lot of fish, so uh, yeah, unfortunately I didn't bring my lure box with me, so uh, I'm going to have to make do, what I've got, make do with what I've got on my other rods, um, and then probably just fish with some bait, but man, how disappointing, but still first cast, fish on, so that was cool. So uh, seeing that I lost my uh, number one uh, catfish slayer, that Salmo lure on the first cast with the fish. Um, the only other lure that I've got that can kind of do the trick is maybe this little de uh, lipless crankbait, fish it down low and uh, see if anything happens. Go through these guys again over here. Key is to have something that's got quite a bit of vibration to it and that goes down on the bottom. Oh, there we go. Fish on. So that also works. <laughs> this is that I don't lose uh, any more fish. I'm actually going to use the landing net. And I don't like using the landing net with lures because they get tangled up. There we go, nice catfish. There we go, not a bad sized uh, catfish for some light tackle. Uh, I might actually just weigh this one and see what it weighs. So there we go, just over two kilograms. Let's uh, put it back in the water. Cheers buddy, thank you very much. So this is why I don't you like using landing nets with treble hooks, but uh, yeah, after my little uh, trip to the ER yesterday, rather safe than sorry, and then after losing that lure, now you want to get them out the water pretty quickly. Alright, well, let's see if they're still biting. Seems to be quite an early morning bite and then it dies. But uh, still quite a bit of activity here, so we should get something.
going? Morning, good, good. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, I caught a couple already, yeah. I'm going to try a slightly faster retrieve. What I liked about that other salmo lure is that it gave off big vibrations in the water. And uh, I think the big vibrations certainly uh, help attract a nice big catfish. It certainly seems like you get them on the first one or two throws. And then uh, I don't know if they grow wise to the lure or if they just uh, get a bit spooked from the activity in the water aren't feeding as actively. Gonna try to see if I can scavenge some uh, some bait here. If I can find a crab or something, that would be ideal. So I figured I'll just make a little uh, ground baited spot over here for carp just in case uh, one decides to come round and uh, lob it right in there top of all the ground bait and uh, just leave it out there just so that uh, if there is a carp that's around or possibly even another barbel you can just catch it on there Morning. So I figured what I might do is I might just put a carp rod um, on the edge of those reeds and the point there um, in the middle of all the, all the catfish. Um, catfish do sometimes uh, take on the carp uh, rigs. And uh, I know there have been some carp uh, feeding in that area. So uh, you never know, maybe carp or catfish might decide to pick that up. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not having any luck finding a suitable uh, catfish bait. So I'll carry on throwing that uh, lipless crankbait, see if I can get another, entice another catfish. I keep on looking like I'm getting bites on this, but it's just fish swimming past the line, getting line bites. But that's still good. Something might happen there. So not too much happening on the bait front. Uh, the lure bite has kind of died down. Also, I don't have that really nice lure. Uh, that's a little salmo that was really, really getting me some nice fish. Um, this little pool behind me here, though, I did see some really nice carp in my last video. And uh, I actually hooked into a really big catfish here too. So I'm going to change up my tactics. I'm going to I'm going to throw a little bit of uh, uh, sweet corn, uh, well, um, whole kernel corn in, and then just put one piece of corn on a small hook on a float, and let it drift around in here. See if I can get something. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to land it because uh, there's not too much space to fight the fish, and they can swim under this grass quite easily. But let's give it a go. Now we wait. So uh, there hasn't really been any activity on the ground bait that I've thrown. Um, obviously these carp aren't in this little pool anymore. Uh, there have been a couple of catfish feeding along the edges. Might just throw a lure once or twice, see if I can catch something. So it was really good fun catching uh, some of these catfish uh, on lures. It's been so much fun. Uh, I might come and do an afternoon session here later. Uh, we'll have to see how my day goes, but thanks very much for watching and if you want to see where I'm heading to next Be sure to subscribe so you catch the next video And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, I brought some chicken livers with as bait for the catfish oh, there, we go. there must literally be hundreds of fish there. I, I literally cast in and uh, they're not big, they're not big at all, but I literally cast in and uh, within less than a minute, I'm on. It's crazy. <laughs> it's fun on the bass tackle.